hopefully this will be the last video I do um, making the box design for this USB power supply and I've just um, done a view of uh, and I've gone unhide all and it's come up with some um, spurious line work which I think I might just get rid of to clean up this object a bit Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all that out there. Let's try and do that section again, I think. Because it's just too messy. Easiest thing is just to start all over again there. here. I think the scaling of this JPEG image is uh, incorrect because it's not matching but that's okay we'll just get rid of that anyway. We don't need it anymore. center lines here first draw a center line for this thing too. It's interesting. I'll just change these spaces. I'm not sure why they're dark. Anyway. And 
do. About the center of that one, I think. That's it. Now, let's see if we can get this right. Draw a box and extrude it up. Two millimeters. Two mil? No, one mil. Ah, it should be two mil. Two mil, that's nice and clean. Then we're going to put this center line in here, circle. But sometimes it's easier just to start afresh. 1.5 and drop that through. Uh, it should be 4 mil. View edge style, base style, wireframe, and that's looking very promising, and a lot, a lot better than these holes here, I think. A lot cleaner lines. But what really matters is how that comes out when you build it. So try this. Shaded with textures, it looks good. Nice clean lines. Hopefully, it will come through nicely. Sometimes it's easy just to start all over again and do those things again. File save. Now, I'll get back to here. Let's see. So, just to recap, that was the problem area. And I see these two are problem areas too, so we might have to do those again too. So we should do those areas as well to close that. So what we'll do is we'll just delete that whole section, we'll mark in some marker lines, and then we'll redo those ones as well probably the easiest thing to do. Take measure. Let's do these ones as well.
just dragging the mouse off screen so that I can get this hybrid line in. So just dragging the mouse down so it should pan across. Which it's not really doing right now. That's okay. Okay, so I'll do the same thing with these ones. Just select the whole thing and delete the whole thing. Delete, erase. That's just easier doing it that way. And mark out that base. Extrude it up. Two millimeters, draw the circle, and 0.5 mil, and extrude that back down again. Four mil, and there you go. Nice. Go across to here. Select all that. Uh, just make sure I've got my marking lines in, it's important. Alright. Okay, it's reorientated. Select all, delete, redraw that section, tilt, extrude, hole on the center line, one point five. Extrude that down, 4mm, zoom back, and um, could just do the last one too actually, just for good measure, as I do the whole lot. A real skill in how to rotate an image. Erase. So it's actually a lot easier just to um, start all over again sometimes. 2 mil. And it back in. <coughs> Put in a hole. 0.5 and then extrude that down 4 mil. Okay, there's a line down there. I wonder what that line is. I think that's just a guide. So there we have it. Let's see how that looks. make it a group. That one should already be a group. File save. Tools export to STL. Oh, make sure we got to uh, cancel. <sighs> We've got to select all of it. Edit, select all. Tools. Millimeters. STL and save all right and let's try importing this now and see what happens <coughs> open 
an STL. So initial appearances indicate uh, are a positive indication. Let's um, try processing that. So we'll start from the bottom view, stepping up. Oh, lovely. Good. Good. So, we might try building this one uh, because it's looking pretty good. And uh, we'll soon find out whether it's um, a good design or not, but hopefully it will be all fine. So, we'll send that off add to the pack. And there it is. Put off in the corner somewhere. Okay, I've just got to go and turn the printer on. And that part's done. But for now, that's, um, that's good. Thank you very much.